Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Canadian Edition here. Uh, we're taking a look at a realistic tank battle today on Abandoned Factory. And we're driving the Churchill Mark 1. It's a uh, 3.0 battle rating tank. 40mm gun and a 3 inch howitzer in the hull. I love this tank. Um, this tank was supposed to go up the beaches of Dieppe um, with a team of Royal Engineers who were going to clear the obstacles and this tank was going to make its way up there but that raid went to shit and the engineers never made it up the beach and these tanks were destroyed or captured by the Germans and their crews were in an unfortunate situation to say the least. So in War Thunder you get a machine gun, your howitzer in the hull and your main gun with the turret. The machine gun's a 7.92 millimeter. The main gun in the hull is a 40 millimeter. And the howitzer sticking out of the sorry, the main gun's in the turret. The howitzer sticking out of the hull is a 75 millimeter. How is it? So this map is amazing for this tank in my opinion. Um, it's pretty good to drive around and use your armor. And the Churchill is good for this map because your top speed isn't really an issue. It's hard to get up to speed on this map. But the Churchill has decent acceleration, so it actually moves around pretty good on this map. Whereas other tanks with a higher top speed don't get to really use it um, due to all the turning and weaving and uh, buildings that are around. So, one thing I want to say about War Thunder is I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, and uh, everyone's just complaining about War Thunder. And what I think they should do is shut up, stop complaining, and if they don't like the game, go play something else. If they can make a better game, go make a better game and sell it. Maybe people will play it. This game's fine the way it is, and nobody wants to hear your opinion. Just because you're a successful YouTuber doesn't give you the right to create, criticize a, a video game. Um, nobody wants to listen to that garbage. I love this game. This is easily the best tank game out there, as well as planes. This game brings console players, PC players together, everyone. Take a shot in his transmission there. Injure some of his crew. Another shot takes him out. Non penetration. And we got a kill assist. But yeah, I'm just sick and tired of people bitching about video games. I mean, it's a video game. It's not going to be perfect. You know, like, just because you have a YouTube channel and you play the game way too much every day doesn't mean you have a right to criticize the game until it's what you think it should be. And you get all your little online trolls to go, you know, attack the developers or whatever in the comments section on their own website and it just, you know, it's annoying, like, if you don't like the game, go play something else. So on this channel, you're not going to hear any criticism of the game. I think the game's perfect. I think everyone should play War Thunder, I think it's a great game. The game is the way it is for a certain reason. And just because you're a YouTuber doesn't make you a genius. So just because you have a bunch of several thousand subscribers, you know, oh, whoa, you know, they, the, the developers need to make money and they have a plan laid out and they're a lot smarter than you are when it comes to this game, so just shut your mouth and play the game. <laughs> That's my opinion anyway on all these YouTubers. You'll never hear me criticize this game. On this channel I try to bring you some reviews of vehicles I like and uh, playthroughs. Like right now we're just we're just doing a playthrough in the Churchill here. 
usually I rant about stuff today, it's the YouTubers complaining about the game. And uh, if I'm doing a tank review, it's a little more serious. Swing the gun around on this chafee. No penetration. Try to find him with the MG. No penetration. Critical hit hit the loader. Oh wow, bomb just went off near us there. So I hope to b bring uh, this some more tank reviews and plane reviews to the channel soon. Um, I hope to bring other kinds of videos to this channel, like gardening videos and uh, videos about my various pets. But mainly gaming. That'll just be like little side activities if I do that. The only game I will play on this channel most likely will be War Thunder. I don't really play very many other games. Just looking for targets here. But yeah, that's one thing that pisses me off about people on YouTube. The only reason these YouTubers are sick of the games is because they play them too much. Because they made a career out of the game. So, of course they're bored of it. People are bored when they go to work every day. You're going to be bored playing the game every day. You know, it might sound awesome to play video games every day, but um, you will get bored of it. I guarantee you will get bored of it. So that's the reason why you're criticizing the game. It's because of your own boredom. It's not because the game is, is a problem with the game. I hear criticism about the new XM1 vehicle. People saying, oh, newbies can come in and buy their way into top tier tanks right away. What's the problem with that? It's not like they're going to get 20 kills, they're going to get wrecked. What's the problem with that? Who cares? Free kills. Everyone has a right to play the game and play it how they want. Just because someone made an account, a fresh account, and they want to buy a new tier 5 tank, what's the problem with that? Not everybody can make a YouTube career and be crazy. Peace.